Good morning and welcome to Monk Breton Priory. Tell us about it. I don't know much about it. <laughs> it's in the next village from us. Um, but considering how close it is and we grew up in this town, neither of us have ever been here. No, this is like history. <laughs> Well, there's actually, I was going to say there's not much here, but there is way more of it left than I thought. Um, obviously, it is just ruins. Yeah. Um, I don't know if we're trespassing at the minute. We're not trespassing. <laughs> we had to open the gate. It says it's open, but like the gate was shut. It wasn't locked, otherwise we wouldn't have come in. The gate was shut. I had but to open a gate to get in, and Lauren thinks that we broke it. It was a big gate. We are the only ones here, so it's kind of weird. I like um, it though. But yeah, it seems really, really nice. There is way, way more left of the um, Priory than I thought there would be. But let's go exploring. So let's explore. I'm going to read the board over there. Yeah. Welcome to Monk Breton Priory. Here's some information. That is what it looked like back in the day. We're the only people here, and that's the way I like it. Lift going down. So this is what's known as the gatehouse. At a guess, it housed the gate. Although there is no gate here today, anyone could walk in. Just like we did. I assume that this used to be some sort of fireplace. Thoughts? Probably. This was the gatehouse. Yeah. Also. Dun 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 dun, dun Deathly Hallows. Really? <laughs> so this gatehouse is in a lot better condition than the rest of this place. Bad than that, that's still standing. Yeah, this this house is fine, or whatever it is. It was the administrative building where they take like rent from the locals. Hmm. It was built in the 13th century. Lauren's done some learning. <laughs> but look at this. It is in quite a dilapidated state. There's still more of it than I thought there would be there. Yeah. While walking across here, it looks like we've got some sort of terrible Terrible bird related carnage. Oh no. Rest in peace, Mr. Bird. Rest in peace. You can see the outlines of the buildings. This was a, a big hall. This was the church, apparently, Lauren's just informed me. Doesn't look very churchy anymore. Looks more like a bowling field. It says here that several high-ranking monks were buried inside the church nave. Several grave covers have survived, although they are not in their original positions. I'm guessing it's like those that you can see on the floor. Because that would so, be about right, because they're supposed to be in the nave. So yeah. we're stood here. This is, this is where they are. Let's go find out. I guess so, yeah. <laughs> We've got cross in in a sort of little little ditch so yeah this is probably one of the places and these i don't know what these are these are probably i i have no idea see the cross is there i'm guessing that one's another this is here yeah. and lauren's discovered another maybe does this look like somewhere that someone would be buried i don't know This is also interesting. So going through this archway, and I'm not sure what this is, but it, it was big, whatever it was. Look how big this area is. Also, it's still pretty impressive that these structures are still, still stood after Nearly a thousand years, was it? It was a long time, whatever, so... 
they don't build them like they used to. We've got to walk back here because Lauren's found facts. So I think this bit is where the monk said mass, and then somewhere here <laughs> says the south transept, but I don't know which one would be south. This area anyway, there was a staircase and that's like above there was where the monks would sleep. So in this area above us. So they would pray, go upstairs, sleep. Yeah. I'm going to do some praying and then do some sleeping. Okay. What's this for? Oh, the stairs there. So I wonder if that's... Staircase. Is this the stairs to the beddy by bedrooms? Maybe. But what's that? Is that a cupboard? Is this where they kept the breakfast mm, cereal? No, it said on there there was a cupboard um, in this area where they keep their books. Oh. I'd keep breakfast cereal in there. <laughs> South transept. And so, that is where the stairs were. Yeah, these are definitely the stairs where the where the they were, were. Yeah, where they climbed to go to the land of Nod. I've got to do it. Now what? Back down. <sighs> Mission accomplished. I'm the king of the world! Or at least Mount Breton. Champion! Forget it. Isn't that the name of a Pokemon? Hmm. Such a, a little door for such a, a big building. Like seriously though, that door's really low. I could touch that with my head. Let's try. Yep, I can touch it with my head. Lauren, Lauren, come and try. I don't think I'll be able to. This is a doorway made for me. <laughs> Fail. You could be a monk though. Could. So Lauren's reading another board. She's the historian out of us two. <laughs> so this bit like that's marked down on the ground was the cloister and then all around it there was four different buildings so we had the chapter house and that's where a lot of priors were buried as well but that's where they'd meet for like their morning prayers and daily tasks. And coffee. <laughs> we don't think they had coffee. Then um, there was an inner parlour where they'd do like talk about business um, and then there was another staircase that linked from that one because that one was the night staircase so they'd use that one for going up to bed basically and then there was a day staircase that came down from the same dormitories um, that gave you access to the infirmary and then there was a refectory just where they washed their hands and things in a kitchen Oh yeah, also... Darth Sidious? Is that you? Better walk away before he uses his force lightning. So, this is the door that we just measured ourselves in. That's the board. We came in. Maybe these are the, are the, the day steps. So where they come down from the dormitory. The downward steps. Hmm. We found a hole, a deep hole. What is it, Lauren? Find a out. A well. A well. It's definitely a well. We're in um, what was the Prior's Range, so it was a three story um, building, and we're in the cellar, so it had gone really high if we're in the cellar. Hello! I'm in a well! Don't know if I can get out. I did it. I can't get up. Oh. Oh. 
Look at these huge windows and this tiny window. Why was this window here? What was it for? Who knows? It is a mystery. Okay, so we just come around the back of the abbey and what is all this this crazy business here? What does it mean? What were they for? Maybe some sort of drainage system? I'm going to go with drainage system. That's what my money's on. But never fear, the historian is on it. Learning. It is indeed a drainage system as well. So I got it right. Someone's crawling on me. So, yeah. So, all the main abbey and stuff's over there, and they have the kitchen and the drainage stuff out back to get rid of all the stank. And apparently it's one of the best surviving examples of monastic drainage in Europe. Knew it. It was on the tip of my tongue. I was going to say that. Just look at this monastic drainage. It's spectacular. It truly is. What's down here? Is this where they keep the rancor? Is this where they keep the beast? Maybe. What's all this about? What's this for? This best not be toilet. I best not be wading through, through poop. It did say on that board that part of the drainage led to the latrines. <laughs> did you hear God give me some information then? God sounded very much like Lauren. Thanks, God. So we've pretty much finished looking around the Priory now. Like, I've read all the boards. We've been to all the bits that we need to see. So we're going to head off soon, but... I, for one, have very much enjoyed our visit here. Like, yeah. I, I'm blown away that this is in the next village to us and we've never even visited it. This seems like the sort of thing that Lauren would have visited before. <laughs> yes, it does. Um, but I'm also blown away that we have, the entire time we've been here, we've been the only ones here. Yeah, we've got this whole priory to ourselves. Like... And the ghosts. This is the sort of thing that we should be promoting and yeah, we really though, should promote this in our town because yeah, we've even not though got anything lots of like information this. Information boards, especially like the last one we went to, the very sort of run down, yeah, and faded, like obviously like from the weather and stuff. Um, but yeah, I can't understand why somewhere like this doesn't get more like funding and yeah. a bit more of a spotlight shone on it. Who knows? But you should definitely visit it. I'll put like some sort of link or directions in so you can find it if you want yeah, to visit it's actually an english heritage website so we'll oh. link the english heritage page for this because there's directions and everything on there yeah but it is free to visit yeah so anyway yeah with all that being said we've had a fun time out here yes it's, i've really really enjoyed it it's been so nice and peaceful and nice to like learn a bit of history yeah so with that being said we're gonna get gone and we'll see you guys next time Ninja!